Okay, so the new Crow movie, that's been out for, what, a week or two now? And uh, everyone's been trashing the hell out of this thing. And I guess I just got so curious that I just had to go check it out and see for myself just how bad this thing is, or are people kind of, you know, overblowing the whole thing? Uh, my local theatre had $5 tickets this weekend, so that was a great opportunity there for me to go watch this without um, worrying too much about how much I actually spent on this thing. Um, now, I did contemplate watching the original before going to see this movie, because I do have it. It's, um, you know, right here. I haven't watched this thing in, like, I don't know, 10 years, give or take, and I really don't remember much about it. Um, so I thought, I, I think it's best that I just go into this new movie, not really comparing it to the original, so I didn't bother watching the original. You know, j just give it a fair shake on its own merits. Um, so I watched the thing from start to finish, and i got to say... I didn't mind it that much. I'm not saying it's a good movie. Um, is it as bad as people are saying? Hell no. I, I, I don't agree with that. Uh, you know, Bill Skarsgård, he, he's a good actor. I'm not saying he gives a great performance in this. It's not going to rival, you know, Pennywise or some of the other roles that he's been in. But, uh, you know, he, I think he's fine in this. And um, what's the lead actress? And... FKA Twigs, <laughs> what kind of what what kind of name is that? Uh, anyways, you know she's kind of cute, but uh, she has that whole kind of hippie vibe going on. Um, you know she's got the dreadlocks, and uh, it, I don't know. It, I kind of associate the whole hippie look with being unclean. And uh, there, there's a scene in this movie where her character and Bill Skarsgård's character. Um, uh, kind of exchanging some words, and she says something about how he smells or something like that, and uh, he's about to go take a shower, and she stops him, and then they just end up boning and on the couch. It, 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 it's not the sexiest scene in the world, knowing that he's probably got you know severe dick cheese, and I don't know what the hell she's got going on. What one thing people have been saying is that. The movie kind of lacks a lot of violence until the very end, like all of it's at the end, and that's not quite true either. There is violence throughout the movie. Um, it's certainly most prevalent in the latter part of the movie, um, but even kind of near halfway, there's people, you know, getting attacked and killed and all that kind of stuff. So uh, I think that's also another thing that's overblown. Um, you don't have to wait to the end to see people die or get attacked or, you know, th there's action throughout the movie. The The first half does focus a lot more on character development. So, um, you know, once you get past that, you, you're kind of getting into the thrill ride of it all. Um, I guess one thing is, and I'm guessing this is similar to the original, is that his character can't die. Uh, from from what I remember, the original had something to do with if the crow itself gets attacked, it hurts him, or something like that. Is, is that how it is? I really don't remember. Uh, but in this movie, they don't really focus at all on the actual crow itself. Um, it just flies around, kind of showing him where to go, and that's about it. Um, so it does take a little bit out of the thrill knowing that he can't die, so he just becomes a senseless killing machine, which, you know, that's, um, that's still entertaining, you know, we get to see some cool kills and action there, um, but yeah, the fact that he can't die, that certainly takes a little bit out of it, uh, so, you know, some people are saying this movie is cringe, and... Maybe it is a little bit, but I, I kind of feel like, from what I remember of the original, the original is a little cringe too. So, that might have more to do with the story itself rather than the movies. Um, and I think 
what some people have to remember is that not every remake is made for the original audience. Um, some movies are made, you know, for a younger generation, or they're trying to do something different, and they're kind of doing that with this one, I feel. You know, this one's probably made for the Gen Z uh, generation. Um, you know, if, if people who enjoyed the original love this one or enjoy this one, that's great, but I don't think they're really making it for all the original fans. I think they were really trying to get a new audience for this one and, and you know, hopefully still capitalize on the old audience, which clearly they're not doing. <laughs> um, now, I've seen people say Wicked Prayer is better than this movie, and that right there just shows people are going overboard with their hate for this movie. This movie is not on the level of Wicked Prayer. I mean, w Wicked Prayer is... I mean, I, it, it's been a while since I've seen it, but I remember it being very terrible. It's like a 3.0 out of 10 on IMDb. Um, you're hard-pressed to find a lot of movies with a lower rating than that. And uh, the fact that people are saying that this is worse than Wicked Prayer, I, yeah, that's they're definitely going overboard with their comments there. Um, now, the director of this new movie, uh, what's his name, Rupert Sanders, he's, he, he kind of responded in the wake of all the criticism. I think he said something along the lines of people live online too much and they should go touch grass or something like that. And um, he's not wrong. Um, he's not wrong when he says that. But at the end of the day, if they don't like your movie, they don't like your movie. What's, you know... There's nothing I can really do about it. Um, it doesn't change the fact that if you make a bad movie, you've made a bad movie. Now, I'm not necessarily agreeing that this is a terrible movie. I think it's okay... Um, probably still nowhere near as good as the original, but like I said, it's been a while since I've seen the original, um, and I'll try and catch up on that one again sometime soon. Uh, another thing about the original, you know, the fact that Brandon Lee died while making the movie, that seems to have elevated it as well, and that's not something they can really recreate with this movie. I, I, I don't think anyone out there is hoping that someone would die during the making of this new movie, and if they did, they're probably a real piece of shit. Um, so, you know, it, it was going to be a tough battle trying to win over fans of the original with this one, I think. Um, it tried to do something a little different. In the eyes of most people who enjoy the original, they've probably failed, but... I think that was always expected, um, but yeah, what I've seen, I saw an okay movie. Um, will I watch it again? Maybe five, ten years down the line, I'll give it another shot, sure. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely not as bad as everyone's saying. Anyways, uh, that's it for this video. Um, stay tuned, check out some of my other videos, and we'll see you next time. Check that one out.